Welcome to Akron Buzz, everyone. I'm your host, Sarah, and I get to talk with Travis Lee today. Hi, Travis, how are you? No, me too, fall. Good morning to you. Good morning. And Travis is a Shifu at the House of Kung Fu. He also is a martial arts instructor, a Kung Fu instructor, a Qi, uh, Qigong instructor, so a little bit of everything. And we're gonna cover some of those things in the interview. Um, but Travis, let's let's go ahead and just start off with your story, okay. um, how you got started, how you started your business, and also how you got involved in Qigong. Very good. Um, I'll start a little bit about my story and how I came to martial arts and Qigong specifically. Mm -hmm. Around 2008, I suffered a really bad injury, a very life-threatening injury. Okay. And um, it was so traumatic that I was afraid to finish physical therapy. Wow. Then from there, I suffered the, all the symptoms of multiple sclerosis for about, I don't know, almost 10 years before I decided to do something about it. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> then through prayer, through leading and following through the spirit, it led me to Chinese medicine. Okay. And it's amazing that there has been this modality of healing for mm -hmm. thousands of years, and it's just now getting to the West. Right, sure. Right? And it's not acupuncture, it's not moxibustion when they do the cups and all mm -hmm. that. It is something that's very accessible to everybody, and it's called Qigong. Okay. Now, what is Qigong specifically? Yeah, right? let's talk about that. Now, if you look up the definition of Qigong, it would say energy work. But that's kind of like a broad um, definition. Right, okay. There are different um, sections of Qigong. Mm -hmm. And this Qigong that I focus on is for medicinal purposes. And the difference between stretching and Qigong stretching is that it's fluid. It's okay. not static. It's not like one, two, three. It's, Hold and then you're done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And which is kind of uncomfortable for people, mm -hmm. especially if you are in a, you know, crazy position and you're not flexible. Right. Absolutely. You know? This type of stretching is the stretching that every living entity knows how to do. Because our bodies are already fluid, right? Exactly. Yeah. And what this Qigong does is remind your body what it feels like to feel good again. Okay. Okay. And we could kind of quantify this type of stretching through, for example, you see a dog get up that's been sitting for a while. What's the one of the first things they do? Usually make some kind of noise or do a stretch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cat, or both. Cats do it. Mm -hmm. and, um, people do it too when they sit for a while. It's one of the first things they do. One of these mm -hmm. or, oh, one of these. Right, moving around. Yeah, and what the monks in the hills and the temples saw is that animals, people, all do this similar type of stretch. So what they did is they took all these natural stretches okay. and they put them into a form. And rather than just stretch your muscles, it opens up the ligaments, the tendons. And because it's so fluid and rock-like, it frees up your internal system as well. Oh, nice. So within one year of doing this type of stretching, all my symptoms of multiple sclerosis disappeared. Wow. Believe it or not, okay? <laughs> now, how I became to make it a business, of course, since the spirit and prayer led me mm -hmm. to this, I decided to let it carry me. How do I get it to the people who need it? Right, sure. Right. Rather than just being so logical, all right, here's my business plan, this, right. this, that, and the fourth. This, I feel like, could be such a great tool that's accessible to everybody, mm -hmm. rather than just go to a building and be like, all right, can I get a loan? I decided to do something very simple, go straight to the people. Yeah. Yeah. So you were telling me um, you grew up in kind of a rough neighborhood and you had a, a, you know, a rough start 
but you would bring it to literally anybody that you saw on the street. You would say, you know, hey, can you try this move? Or if even if a homeless person came up and asked you for money,、mm-hmm. you would tell them, sure, I'll give you a dollar if you do this for me. Exactly.、Um, so interesting. So tell me a little bit more about that. Woo. Okay, I will try to keep it PC.、Um, <laughs> as as people know in Akron,、um, the street、uh, Crosby.、Um, I had a chance to go to Peace Corps. I had a chance to go live up in the mountains. At、um, at a Taoist temple, okay. But the spirit told me, your friends and your family are probably going to get destroyed from the opium epidemic here. Wow.、Um, I've had too many friends. I've lost count that have lost their lives to the opium ep- epidemic, alcoholism, and family members.、Mm-hmm. I've I've lost count.、Um, yeah, it's so, so sad. Yeah. So you felt called to stay here and help people here in this community. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And so I said, "Okay, God." <laughs> All right, I'll do tell it. Tell me where I go. And yeah, and so you've been able to continue doing this as a business. You provide community events, like you're willing to come in to yes、um, a community event and teach. Yes. Yes. And share and. Well, see, the thing is, is that a lot of people they want. The people who need it to come to them, right? And the people who need it sometimes aren't so comfortable being in a new environment、mm-hmm. around new people. Yeah. So what I decided to do is I'll go to them in their home, speak their language, and somewhere where they're comfortable, so they'd be more receptive. Okay. And what ended up happening was they stopped asking me for money, and they just like show me. <laughs> Believe it or not, yeah, which is great. And then one thing left to another.、Um, uh, Beth Vild and、um, Zach Friedoff ended up catching me on the street doing my thing with the people. He said, "Okay, we're bringing you in." I love that. That's great. <laughs> so started off, you know, kind of one to one, but then you were able to to help people in bigger groups as well, which I love. I know that you also do some work at the YMCA.、Yeah. Pre-COVID, <laughs> pre-COVID,、mm-hmm. maybe someday getting back to that. Yeah.、Okay. Um, and you wanted to talk about two different programs that you offer. Absolutely. So,、uh, Qigong a la carte. Let's start with that and、mm-hmm. talk about that. Yeah. You like how I spun it with two different languages? Yeah,、huh? it works.、Chinese、it works. And, yeah. <laughs> yes. Qigong a la carte is basically. Now the forms can be kind of complicated.、Mm-hmm. And we're so busy. People really don't have the time and the patience to learn a form that's one thousand years old. Right. right. Maybe they need something more specific. More specific.、Mm-hmm. And what I decided to do is, okay, instead of being like, "Here's this form, and I'm going to stick you in this system," okay, you are the system. If you aren't receptive, no matter if what I teach you is really good, it doesn't matter. Right. So I let them teach me how they want to be taught. Okay. And if you got a back problem, neck problem, the、you、way you work with the person to find what they need. Absolutely,、yeah. absolutely, and I found that's the most comfortable because it's there's something about choice that makes you feel invested,、mm-hmm. right? And、yeah. so that specific qigong form is yours that you can pull out any time and use, and it's so fast acting. Within ten minutes, you can feel the tension. Melt away in your body. Okay. And as nine to five people, we live in the Western world. People don't know how tense and tight they are, and what ends up happening is、true. when we feel an emotion, we feel it in a certain internal part of our body.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you had a bad breakup, you feel it in your chest and in your stomach. If you had a stressful interaction, your shoulders are hunched. And what that ends up happening is it can. Sh- <laughs> you seem like you. <laughs> no, I totally. I am there with you. I totally understand. Like you are probably one of the most busiest people I've ever met. So I know you. Right, and I know that when I、uh, get overwhelmed or stressed, I totally feel it in my body. So I was just agreeing with you. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And what ends up happening is our emotions. Influence our internals,、mm-hmm. or vice versa. Sure. 
So what we want to do is rather than, you know, we could have an intervention and talk about it or whatever, but if your body feels good and your mind is at peace, mm -hmm. your outlook is going to be great. And if your outlook is going to be great, your mind can influence your health. Peace is the best and the most foundation medicine of all. Yeah. The placebo effect. Yeah, no, I totally agree. Um, I even was listening to a podcast about burnout and oh my god, the the two girls who had had studied burnout for a long time said literally one of the best things that you can do is just move. And I know, you know, for you, it's a specific kind of movement, but they were even just saying people who are burnt out often are not even yes. getting up and moving yes. and it's just so important to get our body moving. Absolutely. And this is a, this is a really great way. Um, so you have one other kind of Qigong that you <laughs> offer and I love the name feet Qigong. <laughs> and I know our feet are so important. I mean, they carry us around every day, all day. Yes. Um, so go ahead and share with us about that. Okay. So this is brand new. Okay. Um, Rather than just create a whole form, I have a specific um, set of movements. And when you look on YouTube or when you go to a doctor, nine times out of 10, they're gonna have you hold some type of stretch for your feet. Now, when your calves and your ankles and your feet are, are bunched up and tightened, you feel really extra stressed, mm -hmm. okay? Now there is a modality called reflexology where they massage the feet and then they move it around and your feet are also like its own little body. Sure. Okay. Um, in, in Chinese um, or Asian uh, cultures, you know, that's what they believe. Mm -hmm. And there are certain quadrants and lines that from when where your toes, the line matches up to a part of your internal. Mm -hmm. And once you focus on that quadrant, on that line, everything on that line gets some sort of therapeutic benefit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what I decided to do is a lot of people are not flexible enough to bend down and massage their feet. A lot of people don't have the money to go to a person and sit for an hour and have their feet done. So again, through leading through the spirit, mm -hmm. um, I coined a term or coined a um, kind of um, a mantra in my head when it comes to the feet because my feet were so tight that I didn't even realize it. I'm doing martial arts so I hold stances a whole lot. Okay. So if I know the philosophy is that your feet are its own little body, why not move the feet like it is your body? Yeah. So what I decided to do is pick a Qigong move and do it with my feet. <laughs> and, and it's worked out. Oh my goodness. Yeah. What ended up happening was, Sarah, I kid you not, I was able to breathe better. I was able to feel parts of my calves and shins and even in my hip and lower back that I haven't felt in years. And then I did it to my, she had the baby now, but at the time my girlfriend Krishna was pregnant. Okay. And I had her do literally one of these movements and you should have seen her when she was laying down like, oh my God, <laughs> right? So peaceful. And yeah. that just was one, one movement. Yeah. And you're right. Our feet carry our body. Right. A hundred percent of the time. So it's very important to it's take care of them. It's so important to take care of your feet. Move them. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Well, so if anyone's interested in contacting you to do one of these things, absolutely. so whether it's get involved um, with like a private lesson type thing, like the, mm. the Qigong a la carte or the feet Qigong, or if they're just interested in yes, finding yes. more True. information about you and about preventative medicine or about your classes, where can they go? to contact you and find all that information out? Great question. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so my YouTube page is specifically for people who want to learn how to use Kung Fu in a real practical situation. Okay. Um, so I specifically specialize in taking all the flowery stuff out of Kung Fu and really using it 
for people who want to learn self-defense or to reinvigor the Kung Fu community to be more practical okay. and learn how to use it. Great. And my Facebook page is for the medicine, the Chinese philosophy, and just the Qigong in general. So the House of Kung Fu slash Facebook or YouTube, depending on your choice, which <laughs> way you want to go. Awesome. Yes. That's and, fantastic. Um, there's one thing that I wanted to kind of clarify. Yeah. A lot of people don't know what um, prevention or preventative medicine is. That's great. And what it is is you do things like you're sick, but you're not sick. Okay. And what that does is it builds up a barrier. Mm-hmm. And a kind of like a um, internal force field, and when your health is already robust, any type of illness or virus that tries to come in is basically negated, because you're already boosting your immune system constantly. Right. right? Sure. So that's the term for or that's the meaning of prevention or prophylaxis. Now, if everybody does one or two things. I'm not asking people to get into just dive headfirst into, into Chinese. Everything. Yeah. Right. Pick one or two things and then do those things, whether if it's meditation, whether if it's chanting, whether if it's having peace of mind or a qigong form. Just do one of those things three times a day, once in the morning, afternoon, and at night. I can guarantee you your health will be robust. Okay. I love that. And I love, um, I was actually just going to say, what's a way that we can get started? And so Absolutely. you just gave us some, some good ways to get started. One, and if, one movement. Yeah. Can you give us one? Absolutely. All right. And it's so simple. This movement is what, believe it or not, what the monks would use for superhuman stamina and emotional regulation. And all you got to do is have your hands come up and then you push down and breathe out and then the hands up and breathe in. Now this may look very simple and be like, okay, but what that does is your breath regulates your emotions, mm -hmm. right? And it starts to get your body to learn how to breathe from here rather than your chest. Yeah. Okay. When you breathe from the belly, you don't need as many breaths to catch your breath. Right. Right. When our bloodstream is oxygenated, everything is oxygenated after that. And so what I did with people who did my workshop is I had them run in place for like a minute. Okay. Hard. And then everybody was breathing hard. I'm like, okay. Then I had them do it. Almost immediately, they got their breath back. Mm -hmm. And they were totally centered. Everybody was blown away. So if you are stressed or you're, doing, or you're an athlete and you need to learn how to recover your stamina or how to center yourself almost immediately, <sighs> full breath and coordinating the breath and the body movement together and you will see a great results. All right, why don't we, we'll do it together. Okay. And everyone out there can do it. All right, ready? You're gonna teach me. Absolutely. And they can all join us. Okay, so the thing you wanna do is put your mind where your belly button is. Okay, now the hands come up. And then coordinate, push down, breathe out fully. Now the hands come up and breathe in from the belly. Put it right in the center, your right hand on top of your left, and then follow the contour of your belly around. And then 
I have to open my eyes a little because I had to watch you. <laughs> you had your eyes closed. All right. I yes. love it. So people can follow along and contact you if they want to get more involved in this. Thank you, Travis, so much for being with me here today. Thank you, news anchor, Sarah. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. And thank you guys so much for being here with me today. We had a great time here on Akron Buzz, getting to know Travis a little bit. And we hope that you'll follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out on our brand new Roku channel. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.